This is how I clean Peachon's eye boogies. I have here with me a flea comb. And here one of those wet wipes. So then I'll go in and kind of wipe her eyes. Here, see? You can see she has a big eye boogie there. So I just go in and I wipe it. Sometimes I hold her nose. Just so wet to wet, make it wet because it's really dry. So if I try to like, you know, comb it out while it's still dry, it pulls on her hair and it hurts. So usually I'm doing this with two hands, but you can see her eye boogies. Sometimes it will come off on its own on this this little you know tissue that has this grooves in it. But if not, what I'll do is I'll uh, hold down her head. I'm trying to do it with one hand here. Eight, eight, let me get it. And then slowly comb it. Eight. You can see there's some. We got one. Okay, you see I got the other? It's kind of gross. Now I'll use this wipe and wipe it off and alcohol spray this thing. But it's really, I do this almost every day. Her eye boogies, uh, you know, definitely are there that need to be taken out some of the time. They just build up really big. Sometimes she'll actually like use her paw or foot to wipe her face and she'll like, I've seen her scratch off an eye boogie it's kind of gross when they're super big um the other thing you want to make sure that so you know to prevent tear stains is to ensure you're cutting her hair around her eyes so it's not in her eyes because that tends to cause irritation so she's probably due you could see i have <sighs> cut the hair around her eyes to make sure they're not in there, but it is, you know, pretty fuzzy around. I can also uh, wet the flea comb, like when it's clean, and like kind of brush her hair, her, like the hair on her snout, so it's a little more smooth looking. But it'll be easy to tell because when I look at her directly and there's hair obstructing her vision, that's when I know I should cut it, or it needs a cut. Thank you.